What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. We have some really cool technology coming out for the new Samsung watch. So let's jump into that as our first story of the day. Now this information and this technology is going to potentially revolutionize the health industry. This tweet comes from Coffee Cat because Galaxy Watch 4 or Galaxy Watch Active 3 will reportedly have a blood sugar measuring sensor technology added. Apple Watch 7 is also planned to have this feature in the hardware. It use, utilizes uh, a ramen, I don't know, I guess that's right, <laughs> spectroscopy <laughs> for non invasive glucose analysis, meaning the way this is going to work is that it's gonna have a sensor within the watch that usually when you get your blood sugar tested, you have to draw blood and then put it on this machine and it will feed you out a number. This is not going to have to give you a shot. It's gonna lie on the skin and it's gonna be able to, I guess, sense what your blood sugar is within your skin. Again, without poking you, without causing you any harm in terms of pain, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. So even if you're not diabetic and you just want to know what your blood sugar is, maybe after eating a cookie or just throughout the day, you're now going to be able to do that with the new Galaxy watches and it seems like the new Apple watches as well. This is amazing and it's definitely going to make sales of these watches, especially for diabetics, go through the roof. Last story of the day is about the new processor that will be coming out in the third quarter of this year, 2021, potentially anyway, from Samsung and AMD. Because it looks like Samsung and AMD are going to team up to put not only Samsung's Exynos uh, CPU, but also uh, AMD's GPU together, creating a crazy powerful gaming system, whatever you want to call it, that is going to seemingly be in some of their phones that come out later this year. This tweet comes from Ice Universe who says, we will see Samsung release AMD GPUs in the second or third quarter of 2021, which will be used in the next Exynos 2000 series and next Exynos 1000 series. Samsung may change the release time of the new processor so he you know kind of confirms it but then he also hedges his bet by saying it might not happen basically if this happens this is pretty big obviously gaming uh, especially with the snapdragon processors and the new exynos and apple's a processors it's pretty good at this point i'll be honest there's not a lot of games i would want to play on on my mobile phone it's a little bit too small but now we're getting to the point where it's so easy to you know connect your galaxy phone or really almost any phone to your TV or to a monitor and be able to play games, hook up a Bluetooth controller and play these amazing games. So if this happens you know, to be true, this should really even push mobile gaming and mobile processors to that next step. Maybe we'll see a Samsung console, who knows? But at the very least, this could be the Galaxy Z Fold 3's new processor and be a super huge, amazing gaming phone because remember, it's going to have that huge display again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question now to you guys is, how do you feel about gaming on your phone? Do you love it? Do you hate it? And when I talk about gaming, I'm not talking about Angry Birds. I'm talking about like hardcore gaming. Is it something you're interested in? You don't really care? I'm kind of in the middle. I mean, I, I would, I guess, like to game my phone more, but the screen is just a little bit too small. I still want it to be on these huge displays. And it's cool that I can, you know, broadcast it or connect it to a monitor or a phone. It's just I'm too lazy to do that, to be honest with you. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.